well, don't mind the hair. <laughs> I got my horns out today. Um, so I just filmed another look. I'm a little stained right now, my lips. But we're just going to keep it rolling because we need a time. So I have a wedding coming up and I think I'm going to do a wedding makeup look. I don't know if I've done that. This is what I would wear for a wedding. I'm as a guest. I'm not in the bridal party or any of that mess. There is one coming up soon for that though. But um, I'm wearing like a Harry Winkle color like this. That's my dress. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that type of makeup. I think I want to do more of a smoky gold vibe because my jewelry is going to be gold. So yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm going to do actually. We're just going to roll with it and get started. We're going to prime as always. I don't really change much when I like a product. Uh, don't fix what isn't broken, right? So I'm using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Yeah. And I'm using the Too Faced Primed and Peachy. Primer. Alright, I want to use the Norvina palette by Anastasia and I'm going to go in with incense. Is that the right word? I don't know. My English is not very good looking. One of these days I'm going to start with my eyebrows. I know a lot of YouTubers do that. Um, I hate doing my eyebrows, so I kind of leave it towards the end, but being that I hate the eyebrows, maybe I should do it in the beginning and get it over with. Who knows? But I'm just taking that on my crease with a nice fluffy blending brush. Then we're going to go in with Volatire. I don't know. Anastasia got me f***ed up with these names. And I am just, I think I'm going to do a halo eye for this wedding, actually. I'm going to put this right in here and on the outer. And then kind of like blend that into the crease a little bit. This is an interesting brush. This is a Sigma Precision Angle P84. And... Looks like that. It's a one of a fatter brush, but it's actually really easy for the um, you know the outer the outer corner over here to just pack on color. All right, and then let's take I'm gonna take summer with my finger, and we're just gonna wow. I don't think the intensity of this shadow is coming off on camera right now, but this is crazy. It's really, really soft too. When you press it, it's almost like I'm going to break it. A really, really soft pressed. And then I'm just going in with a fluffy blending brush and I'm just blending that out. Easy peasy. I have these pigments too that I used to love and they don't sell them anymore so I'm not even going to bother mentioning their name but I'm going to use it in this tutorial. Alright, uh, definitely not what I was looking for. Trial and error people, when in doubt, just add straight up glitter to the bitch. This is what I wanted, but more of a um, gold, not silver. So, I like black eyeliner, so we're just going to go with black. I wanted this to be a halo eye, but it's not halo anymore. 
Alright, let's do some wing liner. Bucket. B, what is that liner? Can't. I cannot look myself right now. Alright, I'm gonna use the Benefit Roll Lash. I don't know what the hype is with this mascara. It literally does nothing for me. Um, I've used it one other time. We're trying it out. Maybe, maybe it needs to be broken in. I don't know, but I think I need lashes. We're gonna try out these uh, wispy faux mink from Nicole Barrero. It's actually not from Nicole Guerrero, it's from Ilor Lashes, but she created them, so. Okay, I actually really like her lashes. This is the first time I'm using them. Putting on lashes on me is a total pain in the ass because it's like my eye is actually more rounded, circled, I, I don't fucking know, but it's always such a bother to put lashes on. And with hers, it had the perfect curl for my eyes. And it was super easy. I don't think I've ever had a brand that matched my eye curve so perfectly. So thank you, Nicole Guerrero, for making those lashes because now <laughs> they're going to be my go-to. And plus, they're like, they're voluminous, but they're not like super in your face. You still see my... Eye makeup, which I'm here for. I'm really liking it now. So, moving on. We're going to be going in with concealer, foundation, the whole complexion going on. As always, MAC Pro Longwear in N35, NC35, and I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in 4N1 Shell Beige. Okay. So, I don't know what it is, but every time fall comes around, I have an urge to watch Vampire Diaries. Anybody else have that problem? So currently I am re-watching The Vampire Diaries on Netflix. It's funny because me and my, one of my friends were just talking about this, but the town that we live in, in South Jersey, I'm not going to say the town, but... If vampires were real, they would live in my town. It looks just like Mystic Falls from the Vampire Diaries. To contour and highlight is, as always, Charlotte Tilbury Medium Dark. Uh, what is this called? The Contour Wand, Hollywood Contour Wand, and then the Jeffree Star Concealer in C13. Way too much on. Speaking of vampires, now I'm starting to look like one. <laughs> Girl, I'm looking way too pasty. Alright, moving on. Setting powder, as always. Patrick Star, MAC. Who stocked up on this? Cause I have no idea if they even sell this anymore, but my ass stocked up on it. And that's why I'm still using it. Yay me. Literally the best powder I've ever used. For bronzer, I am using the Unique Beachfront Bronzer in Hermosa. Looks like that really pretty and it works really well for moss skin tone and no I will not be having my hair go like this for the wedding maybe I'll bring it down for you guys so we can have a romantical look contour I love my Marc Jacobs 
contour palettes. And this is actually a Benefit uh, brush. It came with one of their powders. I don't know. I think it was the um, the bronzer. I'm not sure. I love to get the chin because nobody wants a double chin. And it just looks chiseled. Like, I love that chiseled look. I also like to use the banana, the banana shade in that palette as well, just to highlight under here. Sometimes it can get a little, you know, busted and crusted down there. All right, we are almost done with our look for today. Let's do the brows, my least favorite. Oh, these brows. My edges are all over the place right now. All right, we gotta have to clean this up because this looks crazy. Dreamer for the Bravo. What can I say? I like a glow. The cheeks are coming. Don't worry. glitter all over my face from the previous video but I'm not mad about it then I like to do um, I'm gonna go in with my Becca opal highlighter I like to spray my face before I go in with the highlighter so I can get that JLo glow You want to go in with like a light hand too with these because it could come off a little patchy if you don't but if it does come off a little bit patchy just go in with your sponge and just try to blend it out but if you use a nice fluffy brush like this one you shouldn't have an issue I didn't use blush, holy shit. Let's go with some blush. This is You Had Me at Merlot by Bare Minerals. All right, let's finish up the under eye. I'm gonna go in with those same brown shades and smoke it out. I like a good smoke because it hides my my bags, my dark circles, all that, the lines. So I went in with a darker color, uh, vial tile, whatever the hell it was. And then I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush and go in with Intense, which is the lighter brown that we used. Boom. Um, I definitely need some mascara on these lower lashes. Again, not a fan of the roller lash. And it's not that I'm not a fan. I just don't know what all the hype was. People hype this mascara up so heavy. And it doesn't do anything wow. It, there's no wow factor for me. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. We are just about complete here. For lips... I was thinking a gloss, but I can't help it. I just, this is my go-to combo. I just love it. I can't get away from it. And it's the Bare Minerals Freestyle Lip Pencil and the Bare Minerals uh, Hemp. The color is hemp, but it's the matte liquid lip. 
my lips are super stained right now from a previous lip color that I had on so we'll see if it if it performs the same should I gloss it or should I not gloss it I think I should gloss it I'm using the MAC times Patrick Star collab Okay. I think I look good. What do you guys think? Am I wedding ready? Let's take these horns off. Hopefully my hair has some type of curl to it. Bitch, what? So what I was thinking, I was thinking something like this for the wedding actually. What do I look like? I feel like I have old Kim Kardashian vibes. Heavy. Heavy old Kim Kardashian vibes. But yeah, this is the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did creating this makeup look. Uh, I can't wait to just be out and be pretty. It's been so long. It feels, I don't remember the last time that we went out and looked nice, you know, for an event like a wedding. So I'm super excited and um, yeah, be on the lookout for my next video and I'll talk to you guys super duper soon.